Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mad Hatter for another Mad Hatter TV. And, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys because I'm not really in a good mood, but, um, I always tend to get in a good mood when I'm doing a video blog. So, uh, today, or I should say tonight, I went through a couple episodes and I went into a depressed state, which I still am depressed, and I'm going to talk to you guys about that. Uh, what happened is that, you know, when you put your heart into something, and you have goals, and you have a dream, and you really want that dream to fall through, but then at the same time, it's like you're not seeing anything but failure. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going through. Um, as many of you know, I've mentioned it numerous times, I'm an actor and model, and... You know, it's such a difficult career choice, and, you know, um, I just had a taste of reality, and I'm like, ugh, what am I doing? Am I just wasting my time? And, you know, I've really stopped to think about it, and I've been in this for, what, maybe four or five years, and I haven't gotten anything that's, like, really memorable, and... I know that it takes a long time to make it in modeling and acting, but at the same time, hey, I'm pretty impatient. <laughs> you know, I, I want um, things to start doing something, you know. Like, I'm not the person that, like, says, well, I want fame and fortune immediately because, no, I, I don't. I mean, like, I want to enjoy. I'm passionate about this. I love this career, I love it. I love modeling. I love acting. I love being in front of the camera. I love taking pictures. I love playing different characters. But at the same time, you have to think to yourself, enough is enough. And, you know, it hurts me to... <sighs> it, it hurts me to say goodbye to a dream. Especially when you work so hard on it. But... I'm getting to the point where I feel as though I'm just wasting my time. And I'm only getting older. I'm not getting any younger. And I need to think of other things that I can be doing with my time. And acting and modeling isn't it. And it kind of saddens me because, like, I really, 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 really wanted this to work. And it's just not, and I'm, I'm tired. And I've even had people tell me, you know, that my poses are weird. And I had people tell me that, you know, my pictures are unorthodox. And, you know, like, my acting is subpar. You know, I've, I've had a lot of criticism. And I know in this business... Criticism, you have to be able to take criticism. And normally, I can. Ma like, majority of the time, I can. From casting directors. But when it's coming from normal people, I don't know, it kind of hits hard. But with casting directors, eh, whatever. It, it just goes right over my head. But when it's people that I'm close to, you don't really expect them to be you know, criticizing and critical to you, but they are. So, when people say things a lot, you kind of uh, start to believe it, and that's exactly what's going on right now. I'm starting to believe it, like, maybe they're right. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. You know, I was born an artist. I was born an entertainer. I mean, like, um, I, I was, like, in a Sesame Street commercial when I was little. I think it was for some cookie or something. I don't know. But I know it was with the Cookie Monster. And then as I grew up older, you know, um, my uncle had a show that was local, public access television. Yeah. But we were the most popular, uh, show on public access, you know, I'm still hearing about it today, I'm just like, a huge accomplishment for me in acting, and uh, it really 
uh, set the bar for my acting career, and I'm saddened by all this hard work that I've done, and it's not paying at all. And um, I know that many people have gone through giving up dreams and goals, and I want to hear about them. So I don't feel like I'm the only one that's just giving up on a goal and giving up on a dream. But at this time, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Like, what is my next accomplishment? What What is my next journey that I'll take? So, um, I guess you could scratch acting and modeling off the list because um, I'm about through. If you do hear something from me in acting and modeling, so be it. But for right now, I'm, I'm tired. I'm having too many people say that I can't do it and I'm having casting directors like this my dream and my goal and it came to the point where my heart's not in it anymore and when your heart's not in it you can't do it um, like once I said I'm very passionate about it but if it's not doing anything and nobody believes in it and I'm trying to give back to my community and I'm trying to showcase my talent to the world and if nobody is looking at it, if there's no recognition anywhere, then what am I doing it for? So, um, I guess that's a wrap. Okay, so, you'll probably hear more updates on this um, as time goes by, but for now, like I said, I'm I'm done. I'm through with acting and modeling. So, but who knows? You know, I might have another accolade. I might have another journey. Um, I'm going into photography in school. So, hey, you might just hear about some photography business. And, hey, I might just give photography tips. You never know. But, yeah, modeling, acting, it's been X'd out. We're done with that. Okay? So, uh, I guess that's all for now. I apologize for me looking a little rough tonight because I'm getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> but I love you guys. Peace, love, unity, respect. I'm out.